Hello students, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to discuss in brief about the classification of refractories. Based upon the chemical properties, all the refractories can be classified into three types. Namely, acidic refractories, basic refractories and neutral refractories. Moving to the acidic refractories, generally they consist of acidic materials like aluminum silica. And good examples include aluminum refractories, silica refractories, fire clay refractories, etc. Coming to the applications of acidic refractories, they are highly used as linings for blast furnaces, open hearths, stoves, ovens. Especially aluminum refractories are used for the lining of cement kins, glass tank furnace, whereas silica refractories are used in glass melting furnaces, electric arc furnaces, roofs, etc. Moving to the basic refractories, they generally consist of basic materials like calcium oxide, magnesium oxide. And good examples include magnesia and dolomite refractories. That means whenever if we consider basic refractories, they are not affected by the basic materials, but they are affected by the acidic materials. Coming to the applications, dolomite refractories are used in bessemer converters, whereas magnetosite refractories are used in open hearth and electric furnaces. Third category includes neutral refractories they are made from the weakly acidic or basic materials like carbon zirconia or chromite good examples include graphite refractories chromite refractories zirconia refractories coming to the applications carbon and refractories are used in muffle furnace whereas graphite refractories are used for construction of electrodes and electric furnaces if you like the video don't forget to like share and subscribe thanks for watching have a nice day